Oh 
Sing Alleluia comes from a Bach katana. A katana is a large multi-movement work, usually for choir, soloist, and small chamber orchestra. Most of the Bach's katanas had sacred themes and were written as part of this special music for regular worship services. which is December 26th, the, the second day of Christmas. During the journey, his page is about to give up the struggle against the cold winter weather, but is enabled to continue by following the king's footprints, step for step. Through the deep snow, the legend is based on the life of the, of the historical saint and senseless, the first, Duke of Bohemia. Yeah. 
Shalom is our next song sung in Hebrew. Shalom can mean peace, hello, or goodbye. In this particular text, it means goodbye, my friends, until we meet again. of that music. Then also there's important time change with the spring concert. So on Wednesday, May 20th, uh, the concert will begin at 6.30 instead of 7. And this is in an effort to be over before the high school choir concert begins. Um, tonight, I'm sure several of you know that the high school choir concert is going on and it starts at 7.30. So I wanna make sure, because there's a big end of the year programs, because we combine with Sherman and they have the senior solos and it's a big night for the seniors especially. Um, so I wanna make sure that those of you that want to get to both can do that. So that is moved back from seven o'clock to 6.30. And that will be at the Tree Church and that will allow us to have enough space for both middle school junior high choirs to perform that night. And I put the address there as well so that you can, if you're not familiar with that, you can take a look at where that's going to be. Also, I want to thank you, um, those of you that helped out tonight, um, getting the students lined up, those parents, 
And then also those parents that are going to be going tomorrow with the 8th grade choir, we're doing some holiday caroling uh, at the area nursing homes during the day with the 8th grade choir. And we could not do that if it was not for the parent volunteers. So I really, really appreciate that. And then I also want to thank, while I have this chance, uh, the administration. Because if it weren't for them, the choir wouldn't have the opportunities to do what they do, such as go out and do holiday caroling and be seen in the community as well as um, they got to hear the high school choir, two of the top high school choirs uh, come down and perform for them right before Thanksgiving break, which was a really cool opportunity for them. So thank you to the administration for being super supportive of this program. And without further ado, we bring you our first piece, Banu Wa.
candles, uh, the candles of Hanukkah is a lively piece describing a journey of Maccabees traveling with just enough oil to light their way for one short day. But miraculously, it lasted for eight days. As the celebration in the song continues, it accelerates in speed and joy to the end. Lindsay Buckingham. The song was written for the 1983 film National Lampoon's Vacation. The song was also used in, in the sequels National Lampoon's European Vacation, Vegas Vacation, and Vacation. In this arrangement, it also includes three familiar holiday songs. Christmas and a happy 
Despite his upbeat character, the story behind this hugely popular song is anything but joyful. In a particularly cold and long winter during the early 1930s, a young man, a young man named Richard Smith, who had been suffering from the devastating disease of tuberculosis, found himself in a home in Pennsylvania, recovering from yet another bout of the deadly infection. Days were long and spent in the comfort of his room, daydreaming about a normal and healthy life that would enable him to play outside in the snow like the children and the carefree fun of the snow. Happy with the result. Happy with the result, Smith showed his lyrics to the musician Felix Bernard in 1934. Touched by his sick friend's lovely poem, which clearly expressed his date to believe the limitations his illness had put upon him, Bernard immediately set to work at composing a melody to go along with the words. Felix Bernard enjoyed much of the fame in his years following the publishing of Winter Wonderland, which was the first of countless recordings.